Hi, I'm Naufla. I'm from Trichu district of Kerala. Last year I was preparing for the NET exam and today I'm, I'm so happy and I'm so proud to say that I have cleared the NTA NET June 2020 exam in my very first attempt and I would like to share my experience and my journey throughout uh, to you all. Telling about myself. I am a 2013 B.Tech pass out. I took B.Tech from IES Engineering College, Trishur, and after clearing the gate exam, I joined for M.Tech and I completed the masters from GC Government Engineering College, uh, Trishur itself in the year 2016. The net syllabus is mainly focused on our B.Tech subjects rather than M.Tech subjects. So this was the greatest challenge that I faced during my net preparations. Since I'm a 2013 BTEC pass out and I'm going to write this exam in 2020, so that was a gap of seven long years. In the beginning, I was really confused whether I will be able to make it or not uh, because I had already forgotten every subject of BTEC, so I decided to join some coaching institute. Another challenge I faced was that I'm a mother and I'm having a son of four years old. So even though I'm having full support from my family, especially my husband and his mom, even though I got full support from them, it was not practical for me to move away from the home for the net coaching because I know that my son will miss me a lot. So it was not practical for me. So that's when I decided to take the online coaching so that I can stay at home and prepare for the net exam. Then I started searching uh, YouTube videos and live classes and uh, you know you can see many of them in youtube but as i was scrolling down the videos i was stuck at one of them and it was an introduction class introduction on theory of computation it was taken by himanshu kaushik of dg mando uh, and you know it was uh, that video was very well explained that after seeing that single video i decided to join dg mando for net computer science there are about 20 22 subjects so how I prepared was that first I divided the entire set of subjects into two like the most important subjects and the least important subjects. The subjects like computer networks, software engineering, algorithms etc comes under the most important subjects and the least ones were the microprocessor, linear programming, internet of things such subjects comes under the least important subjects. So first we have to cover the most important subjects and if you are getting enough time you can do the least important ones. Whichever subject you are studying, uh, the first important thing you have to keep in mind is that the basics should be clear, the basics should be crystal clear. That means uh, you have to first build up the foundation then only you can move forward to doing previous year questions. Uh, you have to practice at least 10 to 15 previous year question papers. It can be net as well as gate previous year questions. But before moving on to the previous year questions, you have to build up your foundation. That means the basics should be clear. I have seen many people saying that uh, no need to study the theory portions. You can crack the exam just by doing some previous year question papers. But actually I don't feel so because uh, by practicing the questions you will be able to uh, do them in much quicker, uh, much speedy manner and all. But uh, by just practicing without the studying means you will be able to do the questions that comes in a repeated manner. But if the question comes in a new way or some twisted way you won't be able to do that. For doing that type of questions you should be well uh, you should be uh, having well knowledge about the basics the basics should be clear that's why I said first you have to build the fundamentals and then only move on to practicing the PYQs also I have seen many YouTube videos saying that crack the exam in just 10 days or one week or two week or so but trust me guys you cannot do that you you cannot pass the exam in such a shortcut manner you have to work hard for that you have to study or you have to dedicate your time uh, at least for five months at least four to five months you have to dedicate for your studies then only you will be able to cover the required portions at least you have to cover 12 to 14 subjects for just qualifying the examinations. So uh, 4 to 5 months is compulsory for passing this exam. 
another important aspect of this exam is that you have to keep increasing your speed uh, timing is really important in this exam uh, because in in the last previous exam that means june 2020 net exam uh, i felt that it, it was too lengthy question paper that i didn't get enough time to do that mm. so you have to keep practicing in such a way that you uh, you should at least cover up 80 80 to 85 questions you have to cover at least that much questions nobody can cover 100 questions of this exam that's that's for sure you, nobody will be able to cover the 100 questions of paper 2 but you have to at least cover 80 to 85 questions of that so for that you have to practice um, more question papers and you have to speed up the way you do the questions one tip to increase your speed is that while you are practicing the question papers the while you are practicing the pyqs uh, you have to keep a timer on what i used to do is that i keep the countdown timer of my mobile phone as on and within a given time i try to solve as many as questions possible our exam is basically three hours of exam and uh, it consists of two sections paper one and paper two you all will be knowing that and in paper one uh, 50 questions will be there and paper two is the subject oriented questions it will consist of 100 questions so uh, basically one thing you can do is that the three hours can be divided in uh, divided in two like for paper one we dedicate one hour and for paper two we dedicate the remaining two hours that's one method but what i felt good is that for paper one paper one uh, we don't have to think so much or there won't be any calculations uh, only for the data interpretation part only you will be doing some calculations rest uh, that will be some direct questions also so uh, take the maximum time from paper one into the paper two uh, what i mean is that try to solve the paper one in about 50 minutes so you will get 10 minutes from paper one and that extra 10 minutes can be added to the paper two for example we are having 150 questions and uh, the exam is for three hours that means 180 minutes so you have to do 150 questions in 180 minutes that means for each question you will be getting around 1 minute 20 or 30 seconds or so so what i used to do is that i put a timer of uh, 10 uh, 12 to 15 minutes and i try to solve uh, at least 10 questions in that time uh, 9 to 10 questions will be solved within that time likewise you can increase your speed another way to increase the speed is doing or uh, practicing online mock test it will help you a lot to increase your speed so uh, by doing the mock test you will you will also be familiarized with the screen uh, I mean the balancing of the mouse, the scrolling options. This was a, a major issue that many people, uh, many students faced during last exam. And if you are practicing the mock test, online mock test, you will be familiarized with the screen also. One plus point that we have for net exam is that there is no negative marking for net. Uh, but in gate there is negative marking but in net there is no negative marking so never ever skip any questions even if you come across some questions that is from the area that you have not covered or from the subject you have not covered don't just skip it do some blind guessworks mark the answer save it and move on to the next don't skip any questions also please don't waste any time on such questions if you know that uh, that is the that is from the area that you have not covered or you won't be getting the answer correctly don't don't just waste time on that question just do some blind guess save it and move on to the next question there will be many more questions that from the area that you have studied so don't waste the time on the questions that comes from the area that you have not covered so what i want to tell to the net as friends is that there is no shortcut to success. You have to work hard for it. Only the combination of hard work plus smart work, only it can bring you success. So don't believe that uh, you can crack the exam in just two or three days. Work hard for it, then you'll be able to do it. 
while i joined for this coaching i was not having enough confidence because it was my first online experience and i was really worried about how i will clear my doubts the class will be taken in youtube uh, the link will be provided in telegram and the class will be taken in youtube so uh, there's no option for us to ask the questions to the sir the only option is the chat box other uh, otherwise we don't have any option to contact the mentor so i was really worried about how this will work uh, actually will this ever work or not but trust me guys uh, this class was as efficient as the offline class uh, he was there to help me out uh, at each and every time whatever the time be whether it is day or night whatever the time be he was there to help me out and uh, he was like uh, 24 by 7 helpline he was there so uh, that was not at all a problem the online coaching it was not at all a problem and uh, now i feel like online coaching is far more better than the offline one because we don't have to travel a lot and uh, we we can sit at our own house our own comfort zone and we can study so that's a, uh, one of the greatest benefit i felt from online coaching even after completing mtech i felt like i'm having a, i have secured so much marks but my subject knowledge is not up to what i wanted i always felt so but now i can say with 100 percentage confidence that i have gained a lot of subject knowledge and now i can say that each and every subject or each and every topic is crystal clear to me for example uh, during my college days the subject i hated the most was analysis of algorithms it was the toughest subject for me i tried a lot to study that subject but i i i could never do that but now with the help of himanshu sir uh, i have learned it very well that i can even teach that subject now so i i really owe a big thanks to team dg mendo and especially to be specific himanshu sir uh, for building up my subject knowledge and helping me to clear the net exam.